biggest adolescent is written all the way throughout this text. The biggest fear of an adolescent, Jesse, not fitting in, is not fitting in. You talked about acceptance. Now to understand how this happens and how this looks and what this feels like, I'm going to have you do an activity. This is an on your own activity and just this is this is not to tax you. These are easy things. This is just to kind of get you feeling what we're going to go over. So everybody if you would take out a, a short piece of paper. I'm going to pass out these papers and I'll just keep them face down. And if you would, no one write on these, write on your own papers. Keep them face down. Yeah. Everybody have one? If you would, just do them one at a time and I will tell you when to do them. Everybody turn it over. Just do your own work. And this isn't meant to be hard. These are anagrams. Just do the first one only. Go ahead and solve it. An anagram is rearrange the letters to form a word. Just one. Just rearrange those letters to form a word. When you're done, I need to see your hand raised. Okay, keep going. We'll wait. Keep your hands up, please. Just do number one. Don't go on. Don't go on. You, if this isn't meant to be difficult. Okay, put your hands down. Let's just go to number two. Don't even worry about number one. Go to number two. Solve that one. Again, when you're done, I want to see your hands up. Everybody's hands down. We're going to go ahead and do number three. For number three, rearrange the letters, and as soon as you do, go ahead and put your hand up. Here's what you need to know. You were both given two different lists. This side of the room was given these three words. The left side of the room, here you go. They were given bat. What would the word be? Okay. The second one, they were given lemon. Brian, the word? Melon. Melon. They were easy. The trick here was both of you were given the third word, which was the same. The third word was Cinerama, which was American. Your first two words on this side of my classroom were not solvable. They were impossible tasks. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. But here's what we did this for. I was able to induce something called learned helplessness in the left side of the room very easily within about five minutes. I want you to think about what happened to you, this left side of the room, when you saw the right side of the room raising their hands because they already had the task done. What happened to you during that time? 